Hey guys, welcome back. So, <laughs> as you can see, this is barefaced, this is still wet, and it's for good reason. So, I was very, very lucky and very fortunate, and Influencer and Shame Moisture got together and sent me this lovely box filled with goodies to share with you guys and to try for my honest review. So, I will not say that this video is sponsored because I... I'm not going to lie to you about these products, but just so that you know, I have been using Shea Moisture for almost two years now, but this particular coconut oil line is brand new to me, so I will be reviewing the products in this box along with you for the first time today on my hair and on my skin so you can get my thoughts as to whether or not these products are worth your time. So opening up the box, you're going to see their... <laughs> There's like a couple really nice products that are in there. There's a bit of an information card. Um, so I'm just gonna set this down and run you through my hair routine and through these products. I'm actually including one other product that I use on an almost daily basis or usually when I wash my hair. So I'm gonna set that aside as well because we're gonna use it too. So let me just give you a little bit of information about the premise of this um, coconut line. And it says, using the best parts of the coconut, this all natural collection hydrates and indulges your hair and skin with a luxurious blend of 100% of virgin coconut oil, coconut milk, and exotic Acacia Senegal. These lightweight formulas deliver daily hydration for all skin and hair types. And that's something that I've honestly always loved about the brand Shea Moisture. They are a fair trade brand and they use um, products from Africa that are sourced by tribal women and they're getting paid for their work as opposed to getting jipped off for it. So I'm totally down with that. And they do use organic shea in all their products and organic coconut. So I feel like I'm adding nutrition to my hair as opposed to sulfates and phthalates and all kinds of other um, harsh ingredients that tend to damage curly hair. So as you can see, mine is quite long. My ends right now are a little bit damaged because of all of the, um, the sun exposure that it had over the summer and I haven't had a chance to go cut it but in all honesty I really like how it looks kind of blonde on the ends so I'm being selfish and letting it sit there but it's a good thing because we'll see if these products really work once my hair is dry. So I'm gonna start first with my face because I just got out of the shower and I scrubbed which is why my face is a whole lot more red than usual so I do want to try this out and this is the 100% virgin coconut oil daily hydration overnight face oil with coconut milk and acacia senegal <laughs> so it looks like that the title is a mouthful but let's see so I'm gonna open this up it actually doesn't smell like anything I was assuming that it was gonna smell like coconut but I kind of like that it doesn't so let's see I usually use about two or three drops I'm gonna use four just because I haven't moisturized with anything. Typically I'll put on a light moisturizer first and then I'll go in with an oil, but I just wanna give this a fair shot and see how it feels. Hmm. So it feels like your typical oil, your typical facial oil. Um, I understand kind of why it says use it overnight because it is slightly heavier but that's okay, we're just gonna let it sink in. So I um, I like to use oils a lot underneath my makeup. It helps, believe it or not, it really helps my skin produce less oil throughout the day. If I know that sounds completely contrary, but usually people who have excessively oily skin, such as me, it's because we're dehydrated and we're not moisturizing enough. So your skin, your basically your sebaceous glands are going oh my god the skin is so dry we need to make more oil and it really doesn't help the situation it exacerbates it it creates acne it creates all kinds of messy things on your face that you don't want so by using oils i've actually cut down on a lot of the acne and issues that i've had over the years um i know you probably don't see much acne now but if you look along my neck and along the sides of my face over here you'll see a lot of acne scars and that was from all kinds of cystic acne that I used to have and thank god it is gone now but uh, it was trial and error and oils helped so much throughout that process so I'm a huge fan okay it's see it's starting to sink in I'll usually wait about five minutes before going in with makeup and there's a hair in my face <laughs> before going in with makeup so that the oils have a chance to really absorb into my skin. But looking into my mirror right in front of me, my skin is looking nice and glowy. 
um, it doesn't feel heavy at all, it doesn't feel like a sticky oil either, it's just like a normal hydrating oil, so I like that, I like how it feels. I've seen this product before, it's 100% extra virgin coconut oil for head to toe nourishing hydration, and this is very good for your skin, especially if you have issues like me, like when seasons are changing, my skin tends to go haywire, um, it gets flaky, it gets itchy, I don't know, my skin just goes nuts. Okay, so shit just got ratchet in here. <laughs> I just used my eyebrow trimmers to open up this packaging. It's all good though. Um, being very careful with this because everything is completely liquefied, but it definitely does smell like coconut and it smells like fresh coconut, which is so nice. It's not like those coconut scents that smell fake. But oh, it feels so nice. It's so hydrating. So there's two other products in here that are meant for the hair. One is a 100% virgin coconut oil daily hydrating finishing oil serum. And the other one that we have in here is a daily hydration leave-in treatment. So I'm really excited to use this one. Um, right now I've washed my hair. I've conditioned it. I'm going to try to slide back a little bit. And let's give this puppy a go. Mmm, that smells so good. It's really nice and light. It's... Oh, that smells amazing, guys. I wish this was Smell-O-Vision. You can definitely feel the difference. My ends right now don't feel as crunchy as they did before. <laughs> so I'm just going to hit it up with a little bit extra. At this point, once I use a leave-in conditioner, I do use an oil or an oil serum in my hair to help lock in moisture because curly hair gets dry very, very quickly. And I do not wash my hair every day. I try to do every other day or every two days so that my hair doesn't break, which is another reason why I've been able to grow it out so long because curly hair will break very easily if you wash it too often. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of the oil from that jar run it through my hands, and then I'm just gonna rake it through my hair. And this is usually what I do every time I shower. So guys, if you have curly hair, or even if you don't, what are your favorite products to use? Are there any lines that you really love that you'd like to recommend to me? Because I'm always in the market for new products. Um, even though I'm really happy with these right now, my hair is feeling super duper hydrated. I'm like, a little in shock at how soft the ends are feeling but I guess that's what happens when you're using products that are all natural versus products that are synthetic. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to use and this is not from the box but this is the coconut and hibiscus line the curl enhancing smoothie. I stinking love this stuff and it smells so good. All I do if you see it's kind of like a creamy texture and I just grab about this much and I'll run it through my hands like so and I'll start up here and just kind of run some over the top so that I don't get little flyaways and then the rest of it I rake through let me see if I can sand up a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing I know this is not the best angle but I'm sorry <laughs> So I'll keep grabbing little bit by little bit and I'll keep adding it until I'm almost certain that every strand has been coated because what this is going to do is give my curls a whole lot of shape but it's not going to make my hair crunchy. Like I used to do the crunchy thing all the time in the 90s, just like slather a million pounds of regular gel into my hair and it was always dry and always like really crunchy and just gross, it didn't feel nice at all. So we're going to use the Daily Hydrating Finishing Oil Serum. Last, I'm a little um, concerned about using this as a spray onto my hair, especially for those of you that don't have carpets on your floor. If you have hardwood or tile, I would not recommend spraying this. I've done stuff like that before and literally busted my ass into my floor because I didn't realize that it got all over the floor and it was super slippery. So um, what I usually do is spray it into my hand and then apply it. So let's see. Let's f yeah, it has a very oily consistency, as you can see. Hopefully this is not going to make my hair look really oily. 
Mm. Okay, it smells like coconut, and if you're Hispanic, it smells like platanos. <laughs> like platanos maduros. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Which is never a bad thing, but it might make me hungry. <laughs> so I'm gonna let my hair dry naturally. I never take a blow dryer to it because I feel like that just ruins curly hair. It makes it drier. So I'm just gonna let it air dry and I'll come back in about an hour or two so you can see what the curls look like and form your own opinion. All right, talk to you in a bit. All right, guys, so here is my hair check-in. It's been about two hours since I put all the products in. And as you can see, my hair is mad fluffy. It's not, um, it's not crunchy at all. There's definitely like a hold to it, but it's not like weirdly crunchy. You'll see like there's movement. It's not like the curls are stuck together. And here's what my ends look like. So right now they feel nice and soft. Sorry for the swatch. And yeah, so I mean, if I were to just stick my hands in my hair and like fluff up a little bit, here's what she looks like. So that's Shea Moisture in a nutshell. It looks great. I think it looks beautiful. And I'm sure like tomorrow by day two, I'll be able to use that leave-in conditioner like just to refresh my curls, which I love doing. And yeah, guys. But so far, I'm loving these coconut products. I really dig the way my hair looks. It's nice and fluffy and light. So yeah, Shea Moisture, you did it again. All right, guys. So leave me your comments down below. Which product do you think you would try? What else do you want me to try for hair care products? Would you like to see an updated hair care routine of the stuff that I normally use? I am your genie. Use me at your disposal. All right, guys. Have a great day. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Please like this video and please hit the little bell so that you know when I upload and I'll talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye.